Good morning, everyone. Hope your weekend. Well, we know how the weekend went. Well, hope you're doing well. <laughs> and they're cool. Feel scarcity. Mm. <laughs> how you doing? My name is Mariah Afolabi Brown. As always, I have my lovely co host here. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, morning. morning. So, how, how are you doing? I hope there's no scarcity in your house. <laughs> uh, well, there's a little scarcity. Oh, first and foremost, we should say happy birthday to, to the two. Oh, yeah. And the white girl was, yet, was, <laughs> yeah, was a year older yesterday, yeah. too. Yeah. And the today, twins, too. Today, yeah. they're a year older. Yeah, they're a year older. Congratulations. Yesterday. Thank you so much. We remember how we started last year, yes, and you know, we thank God for their lives. We mm. ask um, for continued blessings mm. upon them. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank In you. Jesus we name. We had a, we marked it yesterday, and we had fun. The kids had a great time. I was trying really hard not to have a party. I did everything within my middle time, but somehow <laughs> the party just emerged. <laughs> 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 yes, let me come to the. How are you doing, Jimoke? Since you started off, um, I'm doing very well. How was your weekend? Uh, my weekend was spent at home resting. Yeah. From Friday night until Monday morning. Like the whole of Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> like every other person. Everybody else. Oh, see, women really have because their husbands stayed home. Ah, I went to visit my neighbor yesterday because they, they will put on their journey in the afternoon. My own journey comes on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I went to visit. <laughs> so you're both of those people. Yes. So. Wait, we're talking we're talking fuel all day today. So let us let us finish the gist. How are you doing, Uwa? I'm mm. fine. I had fun. I attended the, the party. The party for the twins, and I was calling Waikyo. I wanted to go to shrine. And, and she was there. She was there. Take some around. substance with her. You know. <laughs> ah, don't start. No, no start that rumor. I'm not taking anything. There's no substance there. Ah, you don't know. It's fresh. Yeah. Rice and beans with yeah. pepper stew. And do -do. That's a good substance. Yes. And do -do. <laughs> and do -do. You know, but we're not able to do that. But uh, anyways, because there was no light, because you know, of course, my estate, we don't even have light. No generator. Mm. So it's not even an issue of looking for fuel to fill the generator. Normally, they power up um, the street lights at night and all that. And the community hall is, is the light is on. Yeah. Every man came out. Was in the community hall. See me, I, I dressed up. I wanted to go and play table tennis with my husband. <laughs> when I got there, ah! I saw pros. I just saw Frizzy. That was one corner. But I was, I was able to play That's with the man. That's not fast supposed to help them power your, your own. My dear. The generator is coming, Abby. It's been coming since. We are begging. Because the truth is that now I have to go. When I go back home now, I have to go and empty my entire freezer. Ah, because only you. the things are really smelly. Yes, I opened your fridge yesterday. Ah, ah Something was, came to yes, me. Yes, now I had to <laughs> close the I told them. <laughs> I said to empty out everything. They not. They didn't empty it out. But what happened was that even the food, the extra food, I said everybody must share it. Too. Everybody you must carry it. Home. I have nowhere to store it. The freezers are smelling. We need to ah. empty the freezers. It's just. Crazy. I think you need to leave it open. Yeah, we yeah. need to leave them open now. Let, them let open. me come to, um, to Nima. How are you doing, hmm. Nima? Where are you? Okay, let me extension. This morning on my way, I helped um, some you know um, passengers from my bus stop. So when I stopped, out of everybody that stood, there was this particular guy that struck me. He said, "Mother." Are you going to carry me? <laughs> <laughs> Is it from Syria alone? <laughs> In fact, I said, oh God, hey, you you don't know what to but I will carry you. And when we got to where he was going, okay, I said, I have to go and pass him, you know, Kiri Kiri, I can't go through my two course of traffic. So, okay. I drop at Allah Kija say, but boy, Ghana <laughs> uh, <laughs> You have to be a Ghanaian. <laughs> well, that's, that's this morning. This morning, <laughs> interesting. All right. It's Monday. We have a fantastic show for you. There's so much lamentation hmm. on this few matters. So we'll let everybody vent. So prepare and dial. I hope we can have like two numbers today. Dial and tell us how you sourced out, how you got view. Because everybody has a story that on how they got view this weekend. <laughs> Right, let's start with the punch. <clears throat> fuel crisis worsens power problems. Nigerians in desperate search to fuel generators. Diesel shortage affecting our services, says Airtel. Petrol sells for 600 naira as supply dries up. You can see a picture here of um, people queuing for fuel in Lagos and Abuja. Get ready for extradition hearing, sorry, extradition hearing, says NDLA tells Kashamu. Read the CPs, that's Commission of Police, military commanders reporting to patients, Jonathan, says Amechi. Excess crude account, federal government state, shared 6.2 trillion in four years, says Okonjo Iwela. Jonathan mismanaged Nigeria, says Abadjanjo. All right, let's just, we'll talk about a few, as I say, it's our hot topic, as our topic today, so we'll talk a bit about it later. But let's start with either the Amechi story or the 6.2 trillion? Which one, which one jumps at you? Uh, let's, the 6.2 trillion jumps at us. But let's quickly address the Amechi story where he was complaining that the commissioner of police and all top military heads in River State mm. um, report to First Lady, Patience Jonathan, and that's why he had 
an issue with Jonathan that if not for his wife's meddlesomeness, med 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 they wouldn't have had issues. And he's also saying that uh, moving forward for all public um, um, office holders, office or holders sure. they should please try to ensure that um, the offices, the yeah, they're governed by the rules, that the offices are... Um, like you know exclude your offices with your i mean spouses mm. if you are the one that is called to serve serve and take your spouse well there's always two sides yeah. of every story so that's yeah, his own side that's well, his own we need side. to know no we... but you you see there's always um, um fact in every story mm. do you understand it's okay. not like it's it's hard facts still to us yeah okay. well, 6.2 trillion uh -huh. Okonjo so okonjo last week said that she was going to tell us how this money that the governors Forum are asking her to account mm. for how it was spent. So she has come out to say that in four fiscal year, years from 2011 to 2014, mm -hmm. that the federal government had 3.2 trillion and 36 state governments had 2.9 trillion. She said the states that had the most of all of that money was Aqua Ibom with 265 mm. billion naira, mm. followed by River States with 230.4 billion. Mm. Yes, and Delta States with 260.7 okay. okay. trillion. And other states, I mean, Lagos, Lagos State had 80 86, billion. 86 billion like uh -huh. that. You know, so I pretty much she said that they shared the money. Yes. Mm. Now, so I think the next phase, let us hear from the governors. How did you spend this money that you shared? Because now you cannot blame the woman and saying that. The ECA is empty. You guys share the money. So what exactly, what are the developments in your, in your states to prove that you collected X billion Especially Akwa Ibom. I'm very it interested in that money. I hear people say that Akwa Ibom has, has developed. Yeah, because yeah. during the um, campaign, campaign thing, I saw a lot of, because some of my artisans that work, you know, with me, they said, listen, the money that is going to that state from the federal government, you know, Comparing it to the work mm. that, is that is happening, really that is, is, is miles apart. Because they got the most anyway, so yes. they should actually uh, yes. see it's, a lot it's, of it's development. It's beyond structural things. And I, I think, you know, for me, moving forward, we have to see transparency. Mm. And all those people that have been allocated this kind of amount, come and defend True. what this what, you, yeah. what you did with So let's start with that. Okay, yes. let's move on to the nation. Uh, the nation. Mm. So that we Major can take head headline. <laughs> Buhari to inherit 8.1 billion presidential villa debts. Economy dying, manufacturers warn, as few scarcity ground cities. Buhari can't fight eight years' destruction overnight, says Obasanjo. NDLEA's siege to Kashamu's home stays. And 37 got the senators elect back Lawan Akume ticket. All right. Two stories that I'd like to take. Let's take Kashamu first, Abi. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's <laughs> okay, let's take the 8.1 billion naira debt. Let me yeah, help no, you with that also one. Also, villa debt. <laughs> uh -huh. Presidential villa debt. So, so the incoming <laughs> president mm -hmm. is going to be inheriting. According eight, to the papers. Uh, according to Nation. Mm. He's going to be inheriting 8.1 billion in debt. How is the money? Um... Mm. Contracts and service providers is 1.2 billion naira. Mm -hmm. Staff claims is 1.2 billion naira. Local contractors like Julius Berger is 6.9 billion naira. Now, they have asked Ngozi Konjo Iwela to release 4 billion naira to pay half of these debts, you know. And all of these monies is outside of the renovation of the defense house. Now, they need 3.6 billion naira to fix infrastructure. And that's where I have a question. Mm. That all the monies that have been allocated in the last in the six years for maintaining the presidential villa, what have they been using it for if well, they still need this amount of money to renovate? According to the report, they said the president will be taking the president-elect on a tour of the house, showing him aging, you know, infrastructure within the presidential Is villa. Possible? If you have been living maintaining. in the presidential villa for six years how come you've not been maintaining mm -hmm. or if you have been maintaining how come you have accrued this debt when you have a, a, a budget allocation for maintenance of the villa every no, remember, I, think, budget. I think in the early days when he, when he just became president there was a budget that was released not for this days. every uh, budget may i even remind you of the six billion food allocation in 2012 you know when we we're fighting subsidy then yes, we're sir. saying well, how can you be eating six billion are you eating a <laughs> eating a human dragon being? a dragon dragon <laughs> Dragon meat. It's All very right. rare. Can All I say right. something? So that's what the papers have uh, said. The paper, even the papers were saying something about renovation of defense house, the main house, president's office. Uh, Outside of what you're saying. Don't age. Wh wh which one is Aguda House? The good uh, news. I saw something as Aguda House. So it's just a house named after Then the vice presidential office and the guest houses are also under 
this uh, construction under the transition program. Mm -hmm. My question is the presidential office it needs and renovation. Vice presidential office needs renovation. Ah. Something they use every day. Okay, let's let's move on. Let's where? we'll see. Well, let when Baba gets there. Baba, you will now know. Then one who knows they really need the renovation. The Baba that has a cattle and he was there rolling up his I don't know what he wants to use a two billion naira <laughs> infrastructural uh, office for. But let's move on. Uh, let's eh? take okay, Kasha uh, Musto. Yeah, yeah it's in other. It's in other newspapers. I've not actually haven't seen it in other papers. No, it is on in other newspapers. Okay. NDL is in Vanguard. Okay, oh, yes. let's move on to Vanguard. <laughs> mm. Look at here. it. It's on page ten. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan handing over nation in crisis, says APC. Says whole scenario reeks of sabotage. Hmm. Cries out no electricity, no fuel, workers on strike, huge debts. Accuses government of creating problems without efforts to solve them. I'm leaving peace and stability, hey, says Jonathan. <laughs> Calls for prayers. <laughs> you can see the picture here of our president, hey. the vice president elect, and his wife, mm -hmm. and others doing the, I think and that's pastor, the last. Pastor Richard pastor Jaffo. Ayo, yes, at the last service at the villa mm. last yesterday. Fuel scarcity, capital oil breaks ranks with mm. other marketers, releases 13 million liters. Arik Aero contractors cancel flights. Kashamu, NDLA trade war over arrest arraignment. Right. Kashamu. Okay, now, Kashamu was, over the weekend, um, there was news over the social media that he'd rather commit suicide than allow the officials of the NDLA arrest him. Anyways, in the papers today, the NDLA is re... Um, re, um, re you invited him? Uh -uh. Replying him to say that he should spend his energies in that defending himself. Part, yeah at the federal high court where they are going to be in initiating his expedition trial, yes. trial today mm. rather than making all of the noise that he's making hey, me i'm happy that um, so far because initially my know, fear was that they, they will breach any of his fundamental human rights especially the ones personal liberty but the way they are going about it they are following due process and i'm happy that you know they want to go to court this morning to get a warrant mm. officially but, to arrest but that him. is 50 years he's facing you know mm. Mm. Yeah, now, this thing already. happened in 1994, well, 20 years ago, yeah. yeah, in the state of Illinois, and they're saying that they're only arresting him because the United States Department for contacted Drug them. and something agency contacted them, mm -hmm. and that's the only reason, you know. We so, have, they're, we, like we, Nima we, said, they're following due process on and this I'm matter. And they have advised him, because that's a better advice, mm. go and gather your facts. If you say you're free, I mean, if you say you're innocent have the facts ready to prove it because mm -hmm. the law does not have emotions now Abby. Oh, yes it is, it is facts we should be able to protect our citizens now if <laughs> he if he's truly innocent then he should have human rights lawyers and lawyers defend him in the high court the nigeria will not extradite him right. but if he's unable to defend himself that's what the federal court will yes Mariah, if i take drug now will you defend me Moving on to Daily Sun. I'm yes, not, move on, move uh, on, you said we should on. protect our citizens now. But I'm saying though, at 15 no, years is a no, long really. time. You see, it is this edge or edge or in Nigeria that, that is putting us in problem. Honestly, <laughs> let's do things right. If okay. the court says he's is not guilty, then he's not guilty. Daily Sun. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we talked about Shashamu. Clock ticks for Kashamu. US Embassy requests Senator elects extradition. That's all. I won't give myself up, he says. But well, this suicide thing he said that we have to be very careful because when somebody sounds saying he's going to kill himself, we have to be very careful. He won't right. kill himself. He loves his life too much. Right. Okay. Well, <laughs> let's finish up the headlines. We'll come to you, you Nima. Nima. <laughs> Capital oil moves to end fuel scarcity. Mm -hmm. If I knew about defies marketers, opens depot for loading. Um, economic activities grounded. Senate holds public hearing today. Don't undermine our multi billion dollar investment, says Intel. Sorry, tells, Intel tells Ladol. And Senate presidency, more senators back Saraki. Lawan's Unity Forum claims support of 37 lawmakers. We'll talk about this capital oil and Nobel thing a bit later because it's our hot topic today. So mm. we'll talk about it a bit later. All right, what we I want to. I was talking on Kashamu that Kashamu, so yes. this uh, suicide threat for me is um, an empty threat because this year alone, or just last month, we saw how you know Nigerians, innocent Nigerians who had you know repented, who had been rehabilitated in prison for 10 years, were you know um, uh, executed in far away Indonesia. So if he has actually committed this crime, he's alleging though that he's not the person that you know he, he has he been tried in the UK. Of, um, he should go to a court in Nigeria and establish all these, Simple. you know, all these all these allegations that he has made. And if we if he's able to establish mm. them, I'm sure they won't extradite him. Those well, are the I just pray that the best would happen. Abi, well, I'd like mm. to take the Obasanjo story. Just, um, story. Is in <laughs> Guardian. Mm. Is in Guardian. Okay, wasted. okay. the Guardian uh, pains more pains for fuel crisis. 
Don't take Nigerians for granted, the passenger tells Buhari. You can still see the picture here of our president and others. Yes, you're going to talk about uh, Basanjo very quickly. Oh, yes, oh, yeah, go ahead. No, in the reports, he's just saying that Nigerians also should not expect um, Miracle. miracles, that they should be patient. But he, he's, it's important that Buhari should not, take. should not take us for granted. He should be transparent. He should, you know, he should which be. Is what uh, which is what I have been preaching from day one. He should be transparent enough to tell us the truth as it stands. You understand? Mm. And knowing the kind of person that Buhari is, you know, he's sure that it's a. Is a what's it called? A step in the right direction, and it is a, a journey of a, a thousand miles. Miles and starts, starts, starts with a step, step, in, yeah, step in the right, in the right direction. direction. So he's he's sure that he, he would resolve the issues. He also said that the um, Jonathan years in the, the last eight years was um, misrule, mismanagement, mm. you know. You and know I was saying, what, what, how come he didn't say 16 years? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, but, you know what? I think I should recommend this book by El Rufai. You know, because there was a bit, uh, a good explanation or, on uh, Obasan just regime. I think well, you should go and read it. That accidental civil public servant, yeah. uh, public servant book. I mean, what's the name of the book? All right. This day, just giving publicity now. Which publicity? Okay. It's a book that every Nigerian should read. This day, last paper for this morning, few subsidy. Buhari's make or mad decision. Mm. Nigerians, businesses grown as energy crisis worsens. Dan Gote meets Jonathan, NLC threatens strike. NPC workers insist on salary review. Capital all defy strike begins distribution of fuel. Elumelu rallies support for new African private sector agenda. Jonathan handing over to Buhari Nation in deep crisis, says APC. All right, we picked out a lot of stories here. Yeah. Okay. There was something, the statement in church that President Jonathan said. Uh, I living in a country of... Uh, yes, so, uh, so while uh, Masojo was ad um, advising Buhari, <laughs> and while they were having their presidential thanksgiving and transitional church service yesterday, <laughs> President Jonathan said that he's leaving Nigeria in a peaceful state. Oh, Jehovah. Listen. You call him mm -hmm. the, the peaceful peace and stability is relative. Depending on how you do, define, define it. If he had not considered defeat, trust me, what this peace that you are going through right now, you won't go through. Are you in peace? So, so the, no, the point is that it's a bit stable. Yes, we have few issues going on. <clears throat> you know why I but love it would have been worse. You see what somebody, if somebody said in the makeup room when she came in. He is not anybody's hero, as far as I'm concerned. You know, you know what somebody, peace somebody peace. said when we, came, when we got into the makeup room? That Why is it that Nigerians, everything they make a joke out of it? I said, see, if you get angry unnecessarily, you just die of cancer. Yes. At least we learned that on Thursday. Now, you are saying that this is peace. Do you know the, uh, the amount of uh, this thing? Well, we'll talk about it in hot topic. But I'm I do agree. I, I agree with you. Ah, that what? I it could have been worse. I, it could have been worse. In all things, give thanks. Welcome back. Hmm. Against the fuel crisis, strike calls, mountain debts, power outages, and many other problems in the country, the APC has said that the President Goodluck Jonathan is handing over a nation in deep crisis, even as his administration continues to contrive more crises without making any effort to solve any of them. What are your thoughts on this? It's your view, Lady Count. You can call us on 070-806-68014. You can tweet to us at your view TVC. I actually want us to focus more on our experience uh, the fuel issue because that's what everybody's talking about um and we'll talk a bit about the capital oil um we find you by trying to come to the rescue saying you know what he's going to release 400 trucks overnight you know to try to ease out the stress of nigerian people because he has he i mean what he heard is that the, the the telecom stations are shutting wow. down radio stations are shutting down banks so are shutting down i'm waiting for you <laughs> So people, should so, I let you go? So first? should we? Is he a hero? <laughs> or exactly. Is I he, knew you were going to use that word. Is he? A, <laughs> I was waiting for you. Was well, you decided the hero matter? No. So should we? Should we be grateful to and to, to him, or should we really look uh, go behind as, the I would veil? Like to be grateful to him. I know Ifa Yoba is a businessman, hmm. and he's making business decisions that affect him first before every other person. Because yesterday on the news, on TVC News, he was also reported to have said that these products might evaporate where they the are ICs. holding them on the ICs. <laughs> also, the products are occurring in uh, where they are waiting. On the high so seat. it's the best decision so far to make because this whole setting is definitely favoring. 
Why are you being so cynical? But Moraya, no, don't say you've agreed. I've, I'm agreeing okay. with you. So, so why are you being cynical? Yeah. Because <laughs> Nigeria, he has finally, as a, as a patriot, he used the word patriot, yeah. that yeah. we must be patriots and we must say what's put all our issues behind and say, you know what, people are dying because of this fuel issue. People, no. you just heard in the story. Yeah. In the, no, in the, that's, that's what I want to bring to, to book. That's why I really love, the truth is, right now, for me, if I embark, seems to be like my hero, mm. you know, because you know, I just heard in the makeup room this morning, I and I got a bit teary. Mm. A woman lost three plates. She lost three children because they couldn't power the incubator. incubator. Mm. It's not something that is funny, mm. Mariah. A lot of people we don't even know the figures of people that have died as a result of this fuel crisis. We are a, a very strongly dependent nation on these things, these these commodities. Mm. Now the um, radio stations are shutting down. The phone lines they are already sending us um, what's it called SMSs that please oh, in case you experience, just know that some of our our our, our, our base uh, base uh, stations are, are shutting down. Mm. So it's not something that is funny, and a president will now come out and say that he's living a a, a, a peaceful, peaceful and uh, whatever yeah, country. That is very insensitive, if Mariah. Only, that is very insensitive. DJ and his, uh, you know, the Minister of Petroleum had when they signed the contract f uh, five years ago for you know uh, oil refineries in Abia, Lagos, and and then uh, Portakot, Port uh, Kaduna, uh, yeah, and wherever. At you know Bielsa, sorry Bielsa, Abia, Bielsa and Lagos had gone ahead, you know, and executed this contract. Everybody that had promised us a refinery, even if it's one. You know, I'd gone ahead and made sure that we had one. Who we'll be in this situation? Who I saying today? Who we'll, we'll need the type? Who we'll need to be, you know, grateful to uh, an Ifai Uba who is making business decisions? Okay, talking because the about truth is that he's making business decisions. If I Uba now, I like to concentrate on the messenger a lot, and I'm I'm going to agree with you that he has made first and foremost a good business decision, but That's also the visual. yeah, but That's also the visual here. yes, but also concentrating on the message. Ah, his people are praising him. Also concentrating on the message, I'm going to like to dissect his speech. The fact that he's even saying that they're able to now solve the problem of tanker, tankers on the expressway to the extent that, oh, we have a tank farm that can take 1,100 tanks, um, tankers at a time and 5,000 on schedule. Well, didn't they have all of these solutions before? Why is it exactly. now? Now he's wanting to be a hero, no. like you are calling him. Uh, 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 let me tell you something. Is and he is a hero in the sense that he's going against his association and the decision that they made, mm. you know, to hold the government and the people ransom, to say, you know what? I'm going to release 400 tanks of fuel overnight yesterday. Mm -hmm. if, what, you what, know. Yes, let me let's do that. Because I was, can I, let me, say, okay. let me say, um, set this um, foundation, is that... Mm. Just like Ua said earlier, that if we don't, if we did not have a change of government, a lot of these things would not have known. Mm -hmm. The truth is that some of there are, there are different marketers, there are different levels of marketers. There are some marketers that are the Oandos, the Capital Oils, those the big boys. They can actually afford to make these kind of decisions. But it's the real Niger, the people that um, Mr. Our guest last week, Mr. Well, Mr. Benga, mm -hmm. was saying, the smaller guys, yeah. they are the ones that will be most affected. Now there are two angles. Some are saying that these smaller guys are the ones actually that gives fake documentation yes. to get billions. Yes. The big guys cannot afford to do that because of course. The, country, the, the country will be able to find them out and then not pay them. Of course. But the smaller guys that can cook up figures and get billions in subsidy. So there are different arguments. So maybe in favoring the, the big, big guys, guys, and the big guys, that's why the big guys are saying, you know what, I would actually release. Mm. But the smaller guys, though they are having Who issues are with this. Really, the smaller it's marketer. portfolio companies that government can use to go and be doing all this uh, oh. subsidy fraud they cannot carry a big uh, a, a company because like if I Yumba. no forget if I Yumba. somebody like a, a, a Oando uh, <laughs> no I'm guys, saying yeah. the big guys they cannot take those ones and use them to do their portfolio uh, business, business with, 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 with subsidy mm. so we should we should be clear see I'm begging Buhari honestly speaking there's a lot of dark cloud over this fuel issue and what we need is that let him just come out and tell us the true situation of the things so that we have a clear picture and we know where we are going to. And like Obasan just said, eh, it is a step in the right direction. We cannot be plunging down. Ooh, let me if there was you. no change of government, mm. eh, we would not see this. We would not have known that it was this bad. Mm. A lot of companies are, 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 are closing up. I read an article, Nima, I'll come to you, by um, the, an interview, by, I think Daily Sun, by Daily Sun, mm -hmm. Buhari, Buhari, and I was asking him about how subsidy. subsidy. <laughs> and he said he's totally confused. He doesn't mm. understand what subsidy is. Like, who's subsidizing who? Exactly. exactly. 
He doesn't have a clue what, what this thing is. I was going to refer to that article now. In that article, it talked about how they built this refinery. Yes. How the need for Kaduna refinery came up and how they built it. He remembered how many, uh, the capacity of that refinery, what it could produce, yes. how much it could refine, what they could get mm. from the crude they were refining. Mm. He said, if you take a particular um, amount of crude from that refinery per day, you know how much petrol you could get from it, how much diesel you could get. That's somebody that is informed. Mm. That's somebody that knows where we are going. Mm. Do you understand? So we don't have a problem as regards him. What I have a problem with is that for, from uh, March 28th when we did the elections, a government is sitting down, quiet. indolent, quiet, watching us sucking and you know replacing heads of parastatals, but refusing to say anything about, about the a four, four crises that crisis that we have had since uh, you know um, early May. This is May twenty what twenty twenty fifth, and you're quiet about this situation till it got to this point when telecommunications everything is shutting down to the extent that you know hospitals cannot even power no, incubators okunjo has released money remember she already paid no, but they are saying no they are they but they are saying this is a figure Murayo. and she has already given them a certain figure Murayo. so what you can say the federal government let, let me thing. say something Murayo. okunjo wella is not an honest person and that's why i'm very disappointed no, in that year no, no, no it's true let her be no let her be no no let her be transparent no it's not an issue cannot listen say that describe her that way in my own view, she's not an honest person. You know why I say so? Exactly. If the marketers have been crying foul, and she sat down, she came out to say that she was going to pay them, you don't come back again and say you're not paying them, that you're not owing them. Why are you, why are you no, doing that? No, I'd rather what, she has said, said. Investigations were ongoing as to those people who had Thank true you. documentations as to subsidy than to say, we're going to pay them. We have agreed we are owing them this amount of money. She agreed that she was going to No, these people are businessmen who are listen, taking loans listen. to do business. What I read was that, listen, every month, they release funds to these people, right? As a, as a federal government, they give them money. The guys know that the federal government owes them money. But it's the marketers that are insisting that all the money you've been owing us, please pay it because they know that there's a new government coming that is why next I'm weekend. You. So you cannot now blame her because the marketers are demanding I'm for their not balance. Blaming her. If I'm the government, one second, if the government hadn't changed over, it was still the same government, they would have continued the system of paying them monthly. Because and they, they know that there's a shoddy deal there. I have if a it question. Was, listen, if she it was a came transparent deal by the books, that they knew that if they if a new government comes, they see the books, they will Friday. be able to pay. They will that not have done it that way. I have a There's a lot of fraud in it. Haba. If she can say that, and yet not be transparent enough as regards what we are paying, uh -uh. who can say what she's saying? I have a question. Why are we paying them subsidy at all? Why? Now, why are we even owing them at all? Thank you. If you have crude oil, and you don't have petrol and gas and these not exchange crude oil for petroleum from countries that have refineries if this thing is not fraudulent. Right, let's go straight to the tweets. Bisala said, I've, I've said this over and over again. Let's call it spade a spade. Um, hold J.E.J. -E Okonjo, Dezani, etc. Um, it will all come out. Father Onsiola Olua said, no light, no fall, no government, no leadership. Nigeria as a country has been running on lies for the past five years. It's great Stoba says, Jonathan has grounded Nigeria. Thank God it's just five days to go. Um, Adiola says, to me, if I Uber is a lifesaver at this moment, at least is a patriotic and considerate Nigerian. Wow, you are looking pretty this okay. morning. Let me take this call. <laughs> Good luck for Moshodi. Are you there? Yeah, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Yes, How are you? I'm cool. People are looking to see this morning. Thank, Thank you. you. Go ahead, please. Please, I'm not happy with situation in this country at this moment. It's the masses that are suffering it. Mm. Please, people should help us to talk this on top. And the government president, uh, former president, political governor, made this morning. I'm not happy with it. Because they are putting everything on good luck. Right now. They wait for space. This collection has been there. Yes, so mm. they should not pretend they don't know what is going on in this Nigeria. Mm. They are all corrupt leaders. Mm. They are all corrupt leaders. They started this before good luck. And if good luck is not be defeated for this time, Nigeria will not be there with us. People will be running to that country. They go and use the defeat to return it to the top in Nigeria. So all of them should come and see the old leaders to solve the problem in this Nigeria. All right. They are all suffering their money. This morning, some people go to work because they're being brought back. Yesterday, when I was coming back from work, I was supposed to enter 100 naira from the Kenya to Washington. I spent 350 naira yesterday. Ah, that was the so right. they should not forget, they should walk from Thank you so much. and help us to solve this problem Thank in Nigeria. Thank you, good luck. Yesterday, my brother-in-law went to buy fuel in the evening. And they were selling 1,000 naira per litre. They yes. said 30,000 naira for 30 litres. Yes, I was offered 60 litres at 50,000 naira. 
my but tank is 70 liters i mean how mm. much will i use to fill my fill my tank my brother-in-law bought uh, um, two 50 liter cake for forty thousand hmm. there huh. do you understand so and see, he bought it uh, uh, i will buy you no see let me tell you something uh, no 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 i won't buy I, i'm even confused right now because you see the truth is now the way forward uh, we might we, we might really need to bite the bullet because you you are doing an analysis that even if they take out subsidy it cannot be more than 150 per liter yes, yes. let us take it out and let us know where we are going yes to. let me take your last call good morning Shola. are you there good morning go on please go ahead Eva, i have to buy bread to, to work this your program ah, are you serious <laughs> god bless you thank you sir uh, the last speaker that called i think i have respect for the person Papa Sonjo should stop all this blaming Jonathan. Yes, sir. Let's look at the administration for the past 16 years, just like what you have said. 16 years? You should not rely <coughs> on whatever happens. It's safe. Oh, shit. It's not not the same. Mm. Please, let's do something to move this country all forward. Right. Thank yeah. you, sir. Let's, let's take some more tweets, Uwa. Mm. Uwa, I go. Lester says Buhari has to step on toes. Are our refineries not working? How much are they producing? How much is, alloc uh, is allocated for refining? Eti Remy says, um, GEJ should at least address this nation. We are in crisis. Then um, there's another hard Remy says, um, GEJ's administration started with few problems. Now it's ending with few problems. That's true. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Obata <laughs> says, GEJ handing over energy crisis economy. Okonjo Wala now Okonjo, Okonjo Wahala has has uh, have run the uh, economy aground. aground. There's a, a, a sledge in the affairs. Father uh, Osi okay. Ola Olua says I'm bitter about the state of affairs in this country. Asorok is also running on debt. It is uh, uh, it is the height <laughs> is the height of mismanagement and irresponsibility. Right. Let me take a Hi. Ah, ah. Hey, Sam, are you there? Good morning. Yes. Good morning. Morning, sir. Go ahead. Color. Yay! All right. Um, if I go back, to me, he's a player. Mm. But whatever he's doing, we still thank God for what he wants, how he wants to release the force. Yes, Remember, he has a case to answer. I don't know how far it has gone. <laughs> and you know, he was moving from one party to the other. Mm. And I'm telling you, don't be surprised that very soon you will see him join the APC. Ah uh ah. -uh. <laughs> so, no, that's not possible. No. It's possible. No, he will. Very possible. No. You can see a lot of people in the East who now started pledging support for the <laughs> APC. So all these people, whatever it is, it is our money. Yay. So whether somebody decides to release the foil or not, I think everybody wants to benefit in the present government of Amazing. the day. Okay. Thank right. you. Let okay. me come to Nima's tweet. Ray has, uh, Jubake has a very wicked laugh. <laughs> Nima, let me come <laughs> to you. Sober says, uh, Lord, we ask for creative wisdom for leadership in Nigeria to solve the four crises quickly, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And Ajayi Olushaigo says, those saying capital oil boss move is to score political points and just be mischievous because all politicians can take. And Bisola says, I've said this over and over again, let's Call a spade a spade. I That's took that why... already. Okay, you took it already. No, um, um, Ryan, mm. in all fairness, in politics, there are no permanent friends, there are no permanent enemies. I agree. Only that permanent is interests. Only permanent interests. That is the slogan of every politician. But I think uh, the APC should be very careful. Because if they had preached, because uh, what they preached for us was what bought our votes. Mm. So we can't afford to start having questionable characters, you know, joining Question. them. Question. <laughs> Skit, skittish money says the fuel situation is beyond subsidy okay. diesel fuel has been deregulated it's and also time. not available exactly. right. what is Let the real problem Ola from Quara State good morning Ola yeah good morning good morning how is fuel in Quara wow it's not full at all hmm. we are now we are now enjoying it a first time caller sorry yay welcome to the show yeah it, it's not it's not been all that uh good here yeah. you know the well problem is serious yeah. how much is fuel going for in your area how much we are buying 500 there are people are buying 1000 yes, ah, i'm even surprised you that you are people are buying 1000 yes i'm even surprising so we are and, and <laughs> i'm not expecting much worse than this guy mm. 
Okay. All right. Wow. Thank you so much, Ola. Appreciate well, it. But we're already buying at a thousand Paliza in Lagos. Mm. Mm. Wow. My so father, I called my father yesterday. You know, they live in Kaduna State. And I said, how much are you getting fuel? He said, ah. There's one fuel station just at the junction of the street that that guy is selling at 130. That is so expensive. Like, I said, ah. <laughs> better buy and send to you Lagos. Better, <laughs> I said, you better go there, carry on your class, and go and fill up your time. I said, because uh, we are buying at uh, yesterday, I said, yesterday it was still 400 per liter. He said, yeah. Then in Lagos, uh, I said, you better go and fill up your time. He said, uh, no, because there are other people that are selling cheaper, like yeah. 100. I said, my brother-in-law came in in the evening around that, like, seven-ish. He said, Murat, what he offered me, and the, the person said, like, this is 1,000 naira per liter. And it's 30,000 naira for 30 liters. Now, what do you think you the solution should be for? Well, Uber has already sent 400 trucks. Yeah. So the idea is for the marketers to release because Uber also said in his speech that he was thanking the NNPC. Yeah. And the PMC that's saying, you know what, thank you for making fuel available. Yeah. He said that. So what he was inadvertently saying is that there is fuel, it's just for the marketers to release to the market. Um, so no, nobody has nobody has um, disputed that fact that they had fuels in their depot. Yeah, they are just holding us to ransom yes. because, because they, they want their money. This, so, he has said they should be patriotic to release this thing. But let's oh, take this you, call. Uh, Good morning, I think it's Ola Shukwa, I believe. Yeah, well. Ola, this, how are you doing? I'm oh, fine, thank you. Good morning. Diti. Good morning, welcome to the show. I'm a first time caller. Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome <laughs> to the show. <laughs> now, now, get well, oh. Now, you now, get well. All our old time callers don't have fuel. I have to get the fuel by all means to make sure I watch this program this oh, morning. Thank you, sir. Thank so you, I've sir. been watching the program for more than, two, uh, more than a year. Yes, wow. thank you. So thank I you, don't baby. miss it. Even if I'm not around, my wife must watch the program <laughs> to give me the details so that I wow. can watch the repeat program at night. Thank you. Yes, now, based on the issue of this uh, first subsidy, mm. I think uh, Nigeria needs to do a lot of work, most especially all these our uh, stupid government. Mm. Ah. And I want them to try please. as much as possible to fix this problem once and for all. Are you with me? Yes. Mm. You see, the problem we are having is from the uh, 16 years old uh, unnecessary government we'll be having. Because they are unnecessary government. When people are at hospital, they can't have life mm. to save life. Mm. I wonder how the kind of government is this. All right. Thank you I've so been much. I've to some other countries and I know what is going on there. Mm. It's unfair. Yeah. Please, they should do something about Thank it. you, Aladiti. Appreciate your call. All right. Please just remind our callers, please don't use the word stupid. Yeah, We're yeah. not insulting anybody. The idea yeah. is express your view. Yeah. Don't, don't insult. insult. Please, yeah. let's be careful. Yes. Okay, I was going to talk about solution. And this batter arrangement, I wonder why it is so impossible. Now, there's, a, there's an African country that is landlocked, meaning they don't have water around them at all. Mm. They can't even um, import food from anywhere. Mm. They buy crude oil from Nigeria, transport Kenya. via rail. Mm. And ah, that's the name of the country. Mm -hmm. I was going to keep quiet on their name. It's Kenya. <laughs> now, Kenya buys Nigerian crude oil, mm -hmm. refines it locally in Kenya, and sells the products, petrol, gas, and all of it to neighboring yeah. countries. Mm. Why can't Nigeria, for instance, have a bilateral agreement with which Kenya? Is what, which is what Bwari was also saying, mm. in that, that the, the plan was for us to be selling mm -hmm. to our, our neighbors. African but partners. Let me, answer, let me try to answer that question. Why not? Because the capacity of the refinery might just be enough for them to you know, service the Eastern African countries. Yes. Now, why can't we? Yes. We uh, are might have the refineries here, the ones we have, because I had a conspiracy theory that the, the so-called um, so, uh, petroleum uh, products imported in were not, are not even brought from any country. They are actually brought through the, the refineries. No, the refineries here. Wow. And that, they, you know, they will arrange any kind of fake arrangement and say they imported this no, for. No, no, okay. no that's, that's, take, one, that's one well, that's, that's theory. That's one theory. That's one theory. But I say that for those of you that refine your country, that brings me to we you. have crude. Let us exchange. That's, that's what I'm right. saying. Okay, let me go to Ebenezer. Why can't the refineries here? Ebenezer. Good morning, Ebenezer. Are you there from Ikeja? Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Where? Try your first time coming. Yeah. So, okay. Go ahead. Um, all right, thank you. I bought well this morning to watch your program. Oh. Ah. And it's very chilling, honestly. Wow. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know where we are driving to. You know. How much uh, did you buy? One, I bought one thousand and a half liter. Ah. So, honestly speaking, <laughs> and I, I have to get like five liters because we don't have power to power the, the to power our generator <laughs> so that we can run water in the building. Uh -uh. You know? 
is something I don't know where how how long will you continue to live like this in this country. So please this is not a joke. Oh. Thank you so much. Ah. Well, we have some food. Food. All right. Thank you so much. This is not a joke because just like we said, the hospital people so only lost three babies, three plates. How do you carry triplets for so for nine months? Mm -hmm. And you do that because you can't pull them in the for, yes, them for, for it in the incubator. And then these even hospitals, people are dying because they cannot power the equipment. Do we see where we are now? I'm are we I'm seeing I'm it clearly? Because say. sorry, uh, Nima, when I was saying something, people were saying that you're always anti-Jonathan, anti-Jonathan. You see, if there wasn't any change in um, um, government. Was it government, it would have just been a continuation of rot, and we'll think that we are growing as a nation, and we're not even moving anywhere. Mm, let's eh? to, let, me, let me take that tweet. I want to take this tweet. It said, using 20k to 20,000, that is, to fill a vehicle for two to three days, will employers increase salaries? No. The truth is that people mm. have not gotten paid. Hmm. Federal government workers, I was speaking with one yesterday, was saying she doesn't even believe she will get paid at the end of the month. And she still had to go to work all through last week and this week. So the money she doesn't some, have, that some, she doesn't, she's not sure she's getting, states, she's spending it. So 18 states are owing salaries right now. 18. Mm. The APC came out last week to say that they need 4.1 trillion to pay salaries. That is what the president-elect will need when it comes into power. Mm. That, and we still have a government in power. All right. For those of you who have been watching our program, you know, you notice we've not gone to the red couch. It's because our guest did not come. She didn't have fuel. So <laughs> we are still talking this fuel matter. <laughs> but anyway, so we're so having people um, mm. send us tweets. A.T. Remy says, oh, so these markets, marketers are the so-called cabals. Their licenses should be revoked after all this. Mm -hmm. Salam Yakub says, Nigeria are not protesting because it will, they, they all know that just less than five days to go of bad leadership. Mm. Um, King Vocabulary says, what the heck is NLC doing to avert this disaster? Or is it when we start checking to work before they notice the damages? Okushaga Shine says, um, um, he was talking to someone else. Bino, Binoko Koko says, sorry, Jonathan is in charge, but he is not in control. Jonathan is on the throne, but he's not ruling nor leading. So Lokwe Zil said, Isawo in Ikorodu is the home of pipeline and oil bunkering, mm. and those Ijo stealing the fuel are selling at 500 naira per liter. Okay, mm. let me take a maker's call. Good morning, maker. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Good, Good morning. morning. Go I'm ahead. a first time caller. Hey. Go ahead, okay. please. So, uh, Nigeria problem is what every Nigeria will really have to have patience. Ask the leader to tell us what is really the problem. That mm. is number one. When you identify the problem, you know how to tackle it. Okay. You see, what like Nigeria uh, leadership, some things you take hard decisions. You must have to let your uh, countrymen and women to understand this is if, if Buhari can tell us two years, buy for 200 naira, but in two years I could go to the finery. Mm. I'm satisfied with it. Yes. I know we are making a step, for, we are moving a step forward. Yes. Mm. yes, you want to please your masses, you want to please Nigerians, so you keep on importing fuel, going, doing all sorts of things that is not leading us anywhere. Mm. If Nigeria will continue to import fuel, I'm mm. telling you, it will get to a stage whereby the patience and the sufferings of Nigeria cannot sustain it. All right, they thank you so much, America. Thank you. Yeah, who are Ibu, Ibu Kun Dapo says, um, all shoddy deals will be exposed now by the marketers. Okonjo, well, uh, Okonjo must never pay. Secrets will be exposed. Um, Henry Emi says, only God, ex uh, only God can explain what would have happened to this country if um, GEJ had won the elections. Hmm. Then, um, <laughs> Taiwo Emi says, do you have feel? Is it remember there is love in sharing? Hey, yeah, was talking to me. <laughs> okay, Jumoke is talking to you. Okay. Um, I, 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 Ajayi, oh, sorry, Olushegun says, those saying capital oil boss move is to score political points are just being mischievous because it's all polit uh, politicians. Okay, okay, okay. Let me take Tunde's sorry. call for Mikeja. Are you there? Yeah, I'm okay. here. Good morning. Please go ahead. Uh, good morning. Good morning, sir. Yeah, I'm wondering why Nigerians are um, concerned so much about um, what Jonathan can do when he has all the needs. Remember the same Jonathan, sometimes ago, was saying that I'm coming to the public and apologizing to Nigerians that he was sorry that he underrated the power of Boko Haram. And now you have the system, we have to fight it. 
the day when it came out at the, uh, the close period of the election, and was telling us that because of few of those reports, the Tosadim Iran said that the thing was the Iran. Shortly less than a few hours of the period, this is what is happening. And up to, till now, the situation has not changed. Mm. That is on one part. The second part is, our people here, they are so carried away that they see Okonjo in Yala as a personality too clean to be corrupt. She has used that picture of um, conservativeness, if I would say, Thank you. to deceive everyone. Is she, she enjoys coming to the, um, to, to the air and tell people all the figures, not fully aware that there's nobody on the other side questions. You know, she's, she carries her destiny and she goes back. Let the do in the office, they start, they start laughing and telling them that they tell you only what you want to hear. Mm, what okay. people are expecting that is what it's what, right. what Thank you so much. Now, um, for Buhari, okay. for Buhari, yes. this is a good advantage for him. Thank you. If removing subsidies is what will um, give us peace in this country, you should just take the advantage of Simple. people like us that are bound there for. Okay. Right. And you know when the bar is this one fifty to this bar, everybody will have. Okay. For not to make somebody like you find the bar and study a chief hero. Yeah. He's a businessman. That guy is a businessman. All right. I'm Thank you so much, Chinde. <laughs> Thank okay. you. People are dying in the hospital. Let me come to uh, Nima. Let's take some tweets from, uh, tweet, from Nima. Tweets from Nima. Okay. Um, is Gestoba says, Oh, my Africa, the tenth oil producer in the old world is <laughs> simply shut down because it has no power. Nigeria should be the next wonder of the world, and it should be. And uh, I took Amore's scheme to, to it already. Where are you? There are some new ones. I'm happy. Wait, before the new one. Where is this Yanni in all this matter? <laughs> She's in London. She was pursuing somebody and entering the plane, running away from the protocol. Can, can, you, can you pronounce <laughs> this? Paper you <laughs> At least I can carry the paper and go and show them. If they say, come and prove it. <laughs> what do you, you know say? Happens, you know, say? I know you want to. I know you want to. You were, you were holding this gist. When my husband heard that gist over the you said, why would that be making news? Ah, when the juice now came out from the yeah, paper. call. The paper said that. Ah, the no, boss. It's a call from Ivory Coast. They <laughs> <laughs> come from Ivory Coast. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm fine, good morning. I don't morning. know how well is your, your side have been. At last. <laughs> I've been trying for quite a long time. Yeah. Good to have you on. This is first time caller. Thank yes, you. Yes, yes. Yes. Yeah, your program is very interesting. Thank you, sir. And keep it up. This Thank is you, a good sir. channel for Nigeria. Thank you, sir. And it gives challenge to channel television. You understand? But based on the, what you are discussing this morning. Yes, sir. I can put the fault on Nigerians because when the thief come to your house and pack all your belongings and you didn't talk and the next day the thief come again and tell you rubbish and you are still enduring because the, because of our endurance mm. that puts, it puts us in this mess because we endure too much mm. because there is time to cry and there's time to laugh. We don't okay. know the time to laugh. We don't know the time to cry. Okay. We have to act. You understand? Mm. So that anybody coming to power know that we can act. If there's something going wrong, we can act. Mm. Look at okay. in Ivory Coast here. It's mm. very small. Mm. The population of Ivory Coast is not up to 20 million. Wow. They are enjoying, we are enjoying 24 hours. More than 10 years have been here. Uh, uh, no wow. power failure. You understand? Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you so much, Nikon. <sighs> yes. Yeah. No. You wanted to just tell us the design yes. so that she entered the plane. Hold on, first. She heard that our guy is going according to read. How do you know? According to the papers. Hold on now. It's according to the Which papers. Which paper did you read? Punch. <laughs> she heard. She heard that uh, Buari was going to go on. Uh, what's it called? On the flight, the uh, trip to UK. So she cancelled her previous uh, scheduled flight and booked. The same flight. Mm -hmm. She has Baba. denied the story. Oh, the, she, which, which she denied the story saying when that... When did she deny it? Yesterday. Let's see we hear the story first. Some people did not hear it. Let her finish. Then you not say she denied it. So the when she was in the air, uh, airport, you know Baba will always come early. to. He had checked in, he had entered the... As soon as she heard that he had entered the aircraft. Oh boy. Serious. <laughs> she was running. <laughs> Can you imagine? But they said throughout the flight, she tried to, according to the papers, that she tried to, she apart from the pleasant hello, hi, yeah. she tried to uh, stay a conversation with him. The man was... 
for the six hours flight, you know, even send the woman. So what she, she, she has denied the story to say that she didn't even try to talk to him at all. Alive. And she didn't know that How he was on the schedule. <laughs> she was on the schedule for coming back to um foil crisis. Mm. A few people were saying that it's our fault. We didn't allow Jonathan to remove subsidy in two thousand and twelve. But listen. We eventually agreed from 67 Naira. We said, okay, you know what? If you want to remove subsidy, take half of it away, which is how we arrived at 97 Shopee. Naira. Yes. And Shopee. And the promise then was that within two years, mm. they were going to make sure that by the time they're finally taking oh, out you. the subs, um, subsidy, they will fix the refineries. The refineries will be fixed. Thank I you. remember that. So Be you can you can blame us for saying that if you had removed subsidy in 2012, the common man would have been too poor. We removed half of the subsidy. What have you done with that money yes. since then? That okay, shop was those guys you. in black shirts. Shopping. Yes, because they were supposed to actually fix the refinery. They said they were starting the refinery from scratch. He they are going to tell fix you it. You what he did with them? He mm. said that during the campaign, Shopee, you win, and all that. But me, I know where Shopee is because I saw they were supposed to subsidize transportation as against you know removing the subsidy from mm. oil. Mm. But they got we got the buses in some people's luxury buses traveling to the east so the the issue here now is that this problem didn't start with jonathan mm. as we know but the problem could have been mitigated to a certain extent Thank by you. jonathan that's why i have a problem mm. this problem 16 years running we had governments come in and give us campaigns that they would do we find out and we knew that was our problem all but right you know, they didn't we have to round up we have just a few seconds well, on a we hope that note. tomorrow that uh, by tomorrow we'll be seeing something different. if i obas oh. oil will be flowing everywhere well <laughs> we, 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 no, but, but the truth is that on a final note, my plea um, to the incoming government, because I, I so much have hope that we are going to get better. Usually when it comes this low, it's for better things yeah. to come. But I want a bit of, I mean, I mean the, the, the best level of transparency okay. ever. All right. So we know where we, we are going to. We have all week to talk about it. Yes. Like because the swearing is on Friday. Yes, so. So we have, we're going to be Baba, focusing a lot on Please be transparent. <laughs> and that is what we end your view today. Don't forget to watch a repeat broadcast at 11.30 p.m. That's if you like lights. <laughs> <laughs> and you can watch previous episodes on YouTube slash TV Entertainment. No, yes, Thanks for your view. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> no, you are stressing the